Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla and I hope that you're really having a great day and that you're staying safe at home. So for today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some more of my tips and advices on how to draw better and also I'm going to be drawing Carnies Everything from the Hunger Games movie. It's a great movie so you should go ahead and check it out. And also if you like this idea then go ahead and give it a like and yeah, share a comment down below because I will be reading those and please subscribe because that will help me a lot. Also, please subscribe, uh, share sorry, <laughs> with your friends and family if you think they will like it. Also, as a disclaimer, I'm not a professional, so the things that you hear are from things that I have learned along the way and that actually have helped me to improve my drawing skills and I hope that they can help you to improve too. So without anything else to say, let's go ahead and do this drawing. So as always, I'm just starting off by doing the sketches of my drawing and working on it till I get something that I like. And okay, so for today's first advice is going to be don't get stuck with one learning method. There are several ways in which you can learn on how to draw, but some of them are not going to be really helpful for you. And this is because we're human beings and we have different ways of learning. And for some people it's easier to do something than for you. So you try to find that one that could actually help you. So don't get stuck in one thinking that you're gonna get good with it and really you're seeing that you're not having any progress, so yeah, just try to find the one that suits you perfectly. And for my second tip or advice, I recommend you to get inspired, to find something that actually wants to make you draw. Because when you're inspired, then you're going to try to do the things as perfect as you can. Whereas if you don't, then you're going to get bored easier and you just don't feel like that connection with the things that you're making. And this also goes if you want to check other people's content or drawings, if you want to get inspired by them, that's excellent, I do that all the time. And just when you do that, you have to stop being overwhelmed if you see that that person actually made a drawing that you felt that was better than yours because we're learning and it's just a process of uh, trying to learn of our mistakes so yes, just don't get worried if you feel like your drawing was not good enough for you because I can promise you that you will achieve the things that you want but this can only happen if you truly calm yourself and have patience and work on it until you get it because there's no other way of learning than by making mistakes and learning from them tip try to find that brand of colors that you like or maybe paints or charcoal just find the one that works for you uh, there are many things that are super expensive and that they don't truly really work so just find the brand that you like the most if you're starting remember that there are brands that are more affordable for example we have Crayola like I have mentioned in my previous video they just work amazing you can learn how to draw with them and then if you're moving on to something more expensive then I recommend you a lot to use Faber-Castell or Prismacolors because they have made the world to me they're super great and they truly are worth it but just go get the idea that expensive is better because that's not true there are many of cases in which cheap stuff can be also good so yeah just don't think that all the expensive stuff is going to work better because in some of the cases they're not super important tip if just go ahead and do it if you really want to start to learn just go ahead because you have to get out of that comfort zone in which you are telling yourself that probably you're going to do it tomorrow or maybe in a couple of days because then you're going to keep doing the same thing and really not do anything and I know that we don't have all the time in the world just to dedicate it for drawing but we always need to try to find like that 15 minute break that 30 minute even if you can an hour in which you can just practice and dedicate yourself to drawing because then there is not gonna be any other way in which you can learn without doing the, the actual drawing. And another thing that is great is understanding that it's okay to have a reference photograph because when we're starting we're not going to go ahead and do everything perfect at first taking it out of our imagination. It's great to always use it to know what we want to make and it's okay to have that reference photograph that is going to tell you how things 
they tend to work in our world. My today's last advice is going to be be patient. Patience is a key to learning on how to draw. Because if you get constantly frustrated on everything, then you're not going to be able to understand that mistakes are okay. So you have to be patient and work with the things that you want to improve. So yes, just be patient and you will see that with time everything is going to improve so much. As I was moving through my drawing, I really felt like I was very pleased with how everything was turning out. I was really happy with the color scheme and how the face was looking. It, it was definitely taking me some time to move on with the clothing, but I definitely think that it's looking very good. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have tried to record this video before with the same image and I truly didn't like how it was looking. Like the face looked like a little potato crushed <laughs> so I make it all over again because as I have told you before we all commit mistakes and we have to learn from them in this time I learned I don't have to make the faces like potatoes I guess <laughs> So at this part of the drawing, I went ahead and started with the Mockingjay because I feel that Hennis was already good enough for me. And guys, I cannot express enough how tired I was in this moment. It was probably like 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and I know it doesn't look like it because it's a video, but this probably took me more than one day to, to draw. And I'm really taking breaks within the middle, having a normal day, right? But that's why I'm telling you guys that patience is a super important key when learning on how to draw. But I believe that the thing that actually wants you to keep going is the thing that you want to see how it ends. Because even if I was uh, super tired, I wanted to know how this was all going to end. So these were the ending results and I'm really happy of how everything turned out. It was really worth it and I hope that my tips and devices can actually help you. So as always, that was quite a journey. I'm here with my cousin Eileen, that was the one who was watching everything, and she wants to tell you something, but she's going to tell you in Spanish, then later on I will tell it in English. Hello guys, dale like and subscribe, comment, like, and share, and share, and share, and share, and share. So as you have just said, give it a like, comment down below, because I will be reading those, and please subscribe, because that will help me a lot. And without anything else to say, I love you all. Please stay safe. Bye. Besos.